Alright, so week two being real summary video. This is the first one we're doing. Uh, we mentioned that we were going to do this. Uh, what we did is we had a YouTube short video that we put out uh, last Friday. Like a, you know, It'll be like Friday or Saturday. I'll do one uh, for the next week here soon. But that goes out to everybody. It's, it's on the 122... Uh, .us website and if you haven't checked that out check that out there's a being real ministry underneath that we're specifically talking about the being real ministry and the group that uh, we have and definitely you want to go there if you're seeing this just on YouTube you're not going to have the context that you need so check out 122.us there'll be a link in the description and then you just go to the being real ministry and this will make a lot more sense to you but anyway we put a YouTube short out there uh, for the topics that are going to be discussed at the following and the following week, so people that are in the area that want to join can, and they and not only that, but they can see if they are interested in those topics, and if they are, they could do some research ahead of time and come prepared. So that's what we're going to do. It's going to be a YouTube short each week. There's 60 seconds. I'll do my best to quickly give you the topics and things like that uh, each week ahead of time, so you know. Uh, and if you're following along and you're not in the area, you can still follow along, do, do your own research, and then you could watch the, the summary videos that we're going to do. And we're just kind of winging it as far as this goes. Uh, so today's the first one. Let's get into it. Two topics. I had three out there. Knowing full well we weren't going to get to the three. However, still had three. So what we did is we passed a... Uh, sheet of paper around, asked each person that was in attendance to write down something that they wanted to uh, learn more about or issues, struggles that they had, what, whatever the case may be. Did that. Then we passed it around a second time and asked them to put two stars because most people are going to select theirs because they want to know about their topic, but we asked them to select one other one as well. So that allowed us to get an idea of what people were interested in the most, you know, to kind of fine tune that. So we had a three-way tie with three different topics. Uh, well, there's a, one that was a little bit more. But anyway, so I said, well, we'll do those three topics. And then I started doing my research on those three topics. And then went, there's no way we're getting through, through all these. And here's the thing. Because we're just starting this out, it, you know, I, I don't know if there's going to be a lot of discussion or, or how it's going to roll. I will tell you, everybody that has come the last, uh, the, the first week and the second week has participated, which means the discussions are much better. Uh, everybody's engaged, which means it takes a little bit longer to go through things. And that's awesome. Love it. So we're going to pick a topic each week. Uh, and what we did at uh, the second one is we went through the first topic and then it was like uh, about an hour and 10 minutes later, I said, okay, you know, do you want to go into the next topic? Do we want to go to next week? And we, we went through a lot, and you'll see that here. But we decided, you know, we'll put, move that topic to the next week. And we talked a little bit about it just to kind of uh, grease the wheels a little bit and get people thinking so that going into next week they could do their own research, really kind of think about it and come, come prepared for some better discussion. So, again, we're kind of working out this stuff as we go. All right. So, this is going to be a little bit longer video because um, I'm going through things. This won't be every week that we go through it, but uh, we created rules. Uh, I will put those rules out here. I'm not going to read through all the rules, but they will be on, when I say out here, I mean they will be on 122.us under the Being Real Ministry. You'll see what the rules are. Uh, and it's guidelines just to make sure that we stay on track. Um, our planned format, which is open discussion, then we go to scripture, uh, to try to get some guidance based on that and then we summarize what we learned from the discussion and scripture kind of combine it and lastly and most importantly for this group because it's a faith in action group we determine faith in action items so ways that we can implement or apply the things that we learn that structure resonated with everybody yesterday so that's what we're going to go with uh, again I'll, I'll put that out there there'll just be a, a link to to it or maybe just list them but you'll be able to see what those rules are. If you want to do the similar things uh, in your area, great. All right. Um, the other thing we did. I'm trying to. I'm talking a little bit fast because I'm trying to make this video short as short as I can. 
a lot to go over. Okay, uh, first thing we did after going through the rules was this. I asked this question, whose group is this? The response, our group, not, not Scott's group. We set that groundwork in the first one. So whose group is this? Our group. Everyone is involved, everybody is engaged, everybody has insight and input, because God meant it that way, okay? All right, who do we follow? Christ. What is our source of truth? Scripture. Those three things. That's how we started that, just to make sure we're all kind of focused where we need to be. Okay, uh, and it's very clear what we're doing. So, the topic for the week two that we started with, how should Christians be different, and how do you go about doing that? Um, so open discussion led into what do you see in Christians that makes them different, uh, which is one of the things you have to answer. And that's just how the discussion went. So we listed, uh, not being materialistic, living it every day, like it being a part of you, not something you do on Sundays. Um, Showing kindness and respect. Uh, let others see Jesus in us. Uh, that's the kindness, gentleness, and love. Um, be in the word and live the word. Uh, careful of body language and facial expressions. Like how we express. We can, we can have joy in our heart and our faces don't show it. I'm guilty. Okay. Um, sometimes we need to just smile. Uh, not being selfish. Uh, we are to be bold. Uh, and then forgiveness, which is a big one. Uh, they're all big ones, but, but um, uh, we are all different. And we're to approach people in meekness, uh, to, be, to be meek and to, to love and to understand and appreciate each other's differences uh, and how we do that. So those, that was the open discussion part of it. Okay, there's that, you know, that's the short, that's the short, short version that I wrote down, okay? Um, <laughs> but real good discussion. All right, I think that was probably 30 minutes of discussion that I just said in that little bit. All right, so then what we did, part two of the plan, of the format that we have, is to define what, how we can look scripturally at that stuff. Everybody had a Bible in their hand. Uh, and if, if they didn't bring one, we gave them one. Uh, and we said, okay, now, now we need to together go look for this. How do we look up those topics in the way we said it? So then we went further and we lined out, okay, we need to look up meek. So we know what that means. We need to look up forgiveness. We need to look up love, uh, materialistic, materialism, materialistic related things, selfishness, um, being bold, joy. Uh, I think those were the, those are the main ones. And I, I, pro I might have missed some stuff, just so you know, human, I make mistakes. Um, but here's what I'm going to do. We're going to list those things. I'll figure it out. Maybe it'll be over here. So I don't know. I will list those things. And then I'm going to list the scripture verses that we read. Now, here's how we did it. Each person that was there, you know, was looking up certain things. And, and it was interesting how it worked out because we had a couple people next to each other. We had a, I think he's 26, 26 or 28 year old and an 88 year old sitting next to each other. And the one looked it up and went, oh, there's a lot for this one. And she goes, oh, and it, they worked it out where they, they, they worked together and they split it up and they read uh, to the group the different passages. Uh, and we... We wrote down, I tried to write down some of them, not all of them, because there's a lot, but, but some of them. Uh, so going around the room, everybody was open to the, the back of the, I don't have one on me, but the back of the study Bible, study Bibles, where it gives you, a, is it a concordance? I think that's the right word. If it's not, forgive me. Um, but you look at that and it's topical. So Meek, they looked that up. Uh, and I'll, I'll give you, again, I'll put it up here. You could hit pause. Uh, but you'll have the different ones and then the different things that we read. And there are lots of them. So we only read, you know, certain ones, right? And each person kind of 
picked the ones that they wanted to read and, and go through. So collectively we did this. And after we got done with all that, again, it'll be up here somewhere and you could pause it. Uh, after we got done with all that, we went to the next step, which is, you know, we discussed that a little bit in each and how we can apply each of those things. Or actually we discussed what those different verses meant, uh, gave context for those. So a number of them were the, like part of the Beatitudes or in the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, and we asked, okay, who was speaking? Where was it? So we, we provided that context in the group as well. And, and we had people from 26 to 91 in the, uh, there, um, which was awesome. So it applies to everybody, male, female, it doesn't matter. Uh, so what we did is we, we kind of summer, try to summarize and, and pick up tidbits about that so we can have that context for those things. That's the number three is, you know, you know, number one, discuss. Number two, go to the word, go to scripture. Number three is make sure we have context and an understanding of scripture. And, and then fourth thing we do is faith and action items. And I'll put the faith and action items up here as well so you can see those. I'm going to need to state them, but I'm also going to put them up here so you see them. Uh, so this is what we came up with as a group, different things that we, how we can put faith into action or, or remind ourselves to. Uh, one is pray, okay? Two is attitude, remember Jesus in, in all we do. Uh, the what would Jesus do thing came up. And we talked about it being overused and all that, like in the wrong ways. Uh, shouldn't say that, but overused. But what would Jesus do is as relevant today as it was in the first century. Ask yourself that, um, regardless of the commercialization of that whole thing. Uh, we want to look up a verse to help us with one of our struggles, you know. So challenge the group to think of what they struggle with the most and look up a verse that helps counteract that. To have that to start having a tape in their head. I call it a tape in your head, you know, but something that, that you can repeat, that you can go to when you're starting to struggle that, that helps you reset yourself. Uh, so getting a verse that, or, that will help you with one of those struggles, whatever that may be, and that's individual to people. We talked about a couple different ones that help us. That's not for this. Um, physically, physically right. Okay, so one of the things that came up and again, we're trying to put this in the words, but one of the things that came up was I couldn't uh, forgive somebody. I was struggling with that and I kept taking it back. I kept, I couldn't leave it. I couldn't leave it. Everybody, you know, they say to just leave it at the cross. They say to give it to God. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Blah, 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 blah. Um, and that's, I'm sure you're thinking of some stuff yourself that you have that problem with, right? So this, these are things that you have. But here was one of the things that really helped. What she said is, until, like, and we did this, uh, it was in one of the, <clears throat> so here's the thing. Uh, it was in one of, um, one of the challenges at our, uh, at our uh, service one day to write down what that, uh, whatever it is that you need to bring to the cross write it down on a piece of paper, go up and nail it to the cross. There was a cross in the, in the sanctuary um, for this. And you heard a lot of people pounding nails in. She said that's what helped her be able to actually leave it. So a physical, uh, one of the things that came up that we, and then we, of course we had to try to, how do we describe that? Well, you know, physically write it down, act on it, basically to have a physical manifestation of what your struggle is and be able to visualize it in a way that helps you to do that. That's one of the faith in action things, one of the, the ways that you can help yourself do that. I've done that as well. We, we, multiple people describe different ways to do that, but that's, that's kind of what it is. You know, if you're, if you lose focus on a sermon or, or whatever the case may be, you know, if I get distracted, I, I, I visually watch something go out of my mind. I mentioned this to them where I actually watch it leave my brain so that it doesn't distract me anymore. So there's just a physical, something that you do physically to, to do that. Anyway, uh, another thing that was said is practice makes perfect. 
and not in the way that you normally use it though, uh, it's reminding yourself of that. You have these struggles that you keep dealing with or, or things that, that, that bother you and God keeps giving them to you so that you can get better at how you handle them. That's really what that meant. I believe I'm saying that the right way. Um, it's a good way to grow and learn. So reminding yourself that when you're going through all that stuff, practice makes perfect. Like I'm, I have an opportunity to get better at this. Yes, I struggle, but maybe I struggle a little less each time. And uh, those are the faith and action items. So that's the quickest I could do uh, summarizing week two because there's a lot of stuff that we're doing. As we go through, uh, I'll try to shorten this as much as possible. I'm not going to, I'm not going to eliminate content or things like that, but I won't have to go through, you know, the rules and things like that. So as we get our format and uh, collectively as a group as well, like we're, we're figuring this out together. Uh, the video that goes up, up uh, prior to was uh, one, of, one of the people was like, oh, it would be nice to have. So we're kind of lining this out. I think after we week three this will be what it is and all these things will be better but bear with us but that's what we have for week two the week two summary hopefully this can help you and uh maybe in your own uh some of the people that were there are probably going to look at this and remind themselves of some of the things we talked about which is great and, and talk to others here's the thing and, and it's it's not a thursday group it's an everyday group. Being real is every day. And what we learn needs to be done every day. We just meet on Thursdays. So hopefully this, this helps in some way. Maybe the, the topic uh, hits home for you or, or you can think of somebody else that, uh, that might have some of the same, same struggles or want to learn more about it. As we roll through, we'll continue to do this in some way. We'll be trying some different things, uh, see what, what works the best. Uh, Bear with us as we do that, uh, provide some input if you can, and we'll go from there. Thank you for watching. Remember to be real.